to thank each and every one for coming out tonight. Uh, we thank you for coming here to celebrate with us the program that uh, has been presented to us here. The Lord's been good to us. It's, it's a very special blessing to each and every one of us for all these folks to do this. Amen. They spent a lot of time doing it. Amen. And and the Lord's blessed them. The beautiful songs, beautiful Amen. music. We know we each and every one have come out here from different backgrounds, different uh, economic situations. But you know, we're all here together in one purpose and one intent to honor and worship God. Amen. Appreciate each one being here. And you know, it feels a whole lot like being at home. <laughs> in the world that we don't really have a lot of control in. 
we feel like we're miles away from God and no one really cares for us. But then we're just like the prodigal son. Uh, when we turn back to God and, you know, we find out He never left us. And He sweeps us up, He takes us in His arms, and He shows us the love of a father for their child. And when God puts His arms around us, we can't help but be happy. saying that uh, Christians never have a bad day. It happens for each and every one of us. But you know, the real meaning of happiness comes from God. It's, it's deep, deep in our hearts. And it's not just a moment of excitement, you know. We all get excited about things, but the true love of God will open up your hearts and give you a true joy your whole life. And Apostle Paul said, I've learned a secret of being happy in each and every situation. And we all get in situations, not a one here. I bet you could say you're having a wonderful day every day and every week. But you know, Paul said, I've learned to be happy when I'm fed and I'm hungry. I've learned to be happy when I have plenty and when I'm in want. And you know, each and every one of us, if we live long enough here, we're going to be in the same situation. So the best thing is to be happy wherever God puts you. He has a purpose for it. So in all things, I can uh, go, uh, do all things through Him, through God who gives me strength for each and every need and situation. And our happiness comes not from our circumstances, but from the love of God.
Christ, the mighty maker, died for man, the creature's sin. And when we were yet sinners, can you imagine that? God loved us, even we were yet sinners. We weren't worth nothing. You know, we're worth to be thrown away. But He loved us. And Christ died for us. And you know, this was no accidental sacrifice. Christ knew His mission. Do we know what our mission is? He helped to His. In the garden, He asked the Father that a cup passed from Him. Yet His road led Him to Calvary, to His death, and to our salvation through His resurrection.
Jesus died for us. He died for you. He died for me. He gave His life to pay the price for all our sins. And you know, we've had a lot of sins in our lifetime. It wasn't just the very beginning. It's all of them our whole lifetime He paid for. But you know, if you think about it, He did more than that. Jesus stepped out of heaven. Can you imagine being in heaven and all this great glory and no sin around? Can you imagine that? And He came from His perfection. And He came here to this disgusting, fallen world. He humbled Himself as a servant and, and lived among us. Can you imagine how great a drop that was for God to do that? God in the flesh in Jesus. He reached out to us when we couldn't reach to Him. We couldn't do nothing. You know, there was no hope for any of us to ever have opportunity to go to Him. He gave His life and more, He gave a lifetime.
Since Jesus came into this world, nothing has been the same. Since Jesus died and He rose again, our hearts can now know eternal peace. Does your heart know peace? Uh, or has the weight of this world left you lonely and empty? My friend, you can know peace. The shepherd calls you today. And if you feel God is pulling at your heart, listen to the words of this song and let your prayer, let it be your prayer today. saves our eternal soul. Some people don't think we have eternal one, but we do. And you know, Jesus gives us peace. And you know, He's making a new home for us. And one day we can go there for rest. This is not the place of rest in this world. This is a place of work and service. And He's making that place for us that we can go there one day and be with Him. That's the place we're looking forward to. But that's not here. But one day the role will be called up.
yonder, up yonder, and we will be there. Will you? Show me.